Hi, I'm Ian, a customer engineer with StrongDM. I'm here today to show you how to add AWS CLI access through the STM client. It should be noted, this is not how you would set up AWS-specific resources like RDS or an EC2 instance. Instead, this walkthrough will speak specifically to performing AWS CLI commands like AWS CLI S3 list. Before getting started, you should make sure to grab the access key ID and secret key from the IAM console in AWS for the user that you would like to connect as. Also, if you would like for SDM to assume a role after login, you should have the ARN handy. Additionally, you will need to add the AWS CLI command line tool to your machine and have that installation directory added to path. One nice thing about AWS CLI access through SDM, it means that you don't need to have any keys or secrets configured on your machine. You only need a health check region added to your AWS config. Once you're ready to begin, we'll go and head over to the strong DM admin UI. Uh, we'll go to infrastructure, clouds, and add cloud. Uh, here we'll name our new resource. And so for us, it's going to be an AWS demo. Uh, cloud type will be AWS. Here you can also see that we have Azure and GCP access as well. Uh, today we're using AWS. The secret store, you can configure secrets to be stored on strong DM or in a secrets manager of your choosing. Uh, for this instance, we're going to be using strong DM secret. Uh, here we'll enter the access key ID and the secret access key. And that is pulled straight from IAM in AWS. Nothing fancy there. Uh, and the last thing to configure for the, us in this demo is the health check region. For us, we're going to use US East 1. Uh, we're not going to assume any roles after login, so we're not going to use these optional fields here. From there, we'll go ahead and create, and we will see that this should come back healthy, and it does. And now that it's been added to AW or to Strong DM, we will need to add access to this resource to our role uh, for the end user. Uh, so we're going to head over to roles. For us, we have a particular demo role. We'll go to access rules, and we're going to add an access rule. There are two options here. You can either add a static rule or a dynamic rule. And for us, we're going to just do a really quick static rule. And so we're going to look for AWS demo and save and apply. And here, I am actually already logged in uh, to SDM. So I can run SDM status, and I can see that our AWS demo account or a cloud account has been added. Uh, we're going to need to connect to this. We're going to do AWS, or I'm sorry, SDM connect, AWS demo. The connect is successful. We can see in the status that we are connected and there's a port assigned. And from here, it's just a matter of running any of your uh, desired AWS commits. So for us, we're going to use AWS, SDM, AWS CLI, S3 LS. And here, we can see a demo S3 bucket from uh, a prior exercise. And that's really about it. It's really quite straightforward and simple to do. So have fun. And if you have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And thanks for visiting us. And be sure to go to uh, strongdm.com as well. Thanks.